Hello everybody! Coming to you live from Medora, North Dakota in the, in the frontier of the West. Uh, happy Friday and welcome to another um, another live stream here from the road and hopefully the internet holds holds up uh, as, as you know sometimes uh, it doesn't but um, I was getting solid 11 megabits per second up and now it seems like it is wobbling up and down I don't know what's going on in any case um, hello everybody the cover uh, has a light that connects to the four pin cover what cover oh a hitch cover Cool and uh, hello, Christopher Olson from uh, Sweden and uh, from Munich, Deutschland, hard and heavy. And the RV DJ, hello, RV DJ, and Dylan Reynolds in the house. Uh, Jamie Amtrak, by the way, I wanna, I wanna, uh, oh, hold on. Ooh, it's you know, I took some dirt roads, and everything is, is full of dirt and dust. Um, I want to thank a super chat early Earl Woolit 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 Earl Woolit from uh, of course uh, the Lake House in Minnesota for the for, uh, for providing the IPA and for that super chat. A uh, Brandon Stargell, hello there, and uh, hello Adam and uh, Joanne Craig from New Jersey, Lucky Lucian from Key Largo, Nico Bellic from Mars. All right, Mars, we, we, now we are not only an international show, but an interstellar show, or interplanetary would be uh, the, the, the more uh, proper way to say it. And this thing is vibrating. Oh, 199 steps left this hour. Yeah. Uh, hi, Ria Landholm. And Michelle K, hello, Tap Channel, long time. Uh, well, you're probably here, but you know, sometimes I don't read all the comments. I'm gonna endeavor to read most of the comments today. Um, Mac, uh, hello, Robert, we love your videos. Thank you so much. Uh, hello from Vancouver. Hello from New Jersey. Stink, where is your favorite place to camp in the United States? If it is boondocking, uh, definitely Valley of the Gods would be high up there in my list. By the way, am I freezing too much? Because I see it, uh, for the most part, uh, uh, with uh, with good bandwidth. But once in a once in a blue moon, it will, it will go down to like 300, uh, mega, uh, you know, kilobits, and then boom, it goes back up to to two megabits. So I don't know. Um, hey, Jackie Rodri Rodriguez, Chad Montcastle. Hello from Alaska. Oh, thank you. And the Annelies Chile. Hey, Robert, I missed some of your past live streams. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm coming. I am in North Dakota, by the way. This is RV park for the past two hours. Let me show you. It's like a, like a, that's my neighbor in a, in a big 45, 45 footer. It's like, a, you know, I'm, I'm, the, the, the office is right almost in front of my campsite to the left. And there's been a line of RVs checking in nonstop since I arrived uh, from the park uh, about an hour ago. Uh, Mendel uh, from Indiana, hello there, and uh, Alexander Medeiros from Hawaii, aloha, and uh, mahalo. And, uh, and by the way, let, let, let's, let's open up the, 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 you see it just went down to 200 kilobits per second, I probably went like, like pixelated and then, then, then back up. Uh, Tom Buse, thank you so much for that super chat. Now you know what I gotta do when there's a super chat. I gotta take a sip. And today we're having some furious IPA from Surly Brewing Company, and they are located in in Minneapolis. So uh, uh, iconic, hoppy, and aggressive. And it's one whole pint with 6.7 uh, uh, alcohol uh, volume, maybe whatever, whatever it's called. Uh, Alan Chidwood, thank you so much for that super chat. Thank you. And, uh, well, let's pour ourselves. This has a very, very nice uh, color and semi cloudy uh, texture here, as you can see. There's two RVs 
waiting in line back there. Now the trailer is coming and a class uh, C towing a, a, a Jeep. All right. Uh, Courtney Kerfoot, thank you so much for that super chat. Uh, hi, Robert. Love your videos. My husband, Ben, is a big fan and his birthday is Monday. He would love to hear you. Wish him a happy birthday. Uh, hello, Ben. Happy, happy birthday, dear Ben. Happy birthday to you. All right. Dan the Vintage RV here. Um, glad to take a break from working on my brakes. Oh, do, do, do put the, 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 those brakes uh, properly. Oh, this is good. This is the one that I had at the lake house. Uh, Brandon Stargell, thank you so much for that super chat. Loved this Sunday's video. Great job. We are headed to Moccasin Creek State Park in North Georgia. Safe travels. Well, safe travels to you too. Uh, have a great time there. And, uh, and yeah, this Sunday video is going to be Flagler Beach, Florida. And uh, I'm a little behind. You know, it's, it's hard to to capture uh, the, the footage and edit past videos at the same time it turns out to be. I don't know how other YouTubers do it, uh, but uh, at some point, thank you CLT for the, for the announcement and thank you for being here. And uh, which by the way, I, on the website, if you are trying, to, if you try to buy a CD, I, I turned off the, C, the CD sales. I have four left, and I have uh, two sales already that I had to ship. And I, you know, I'm gonna keep two just in case I have to sell one on the spot or, or give it away or what have you. And uh, so the CDs are gonna be unavailable for about a month until I get back to Miami, because I, you know, I, I only brought so many uh, on the road with me, and uh, and they're gone. Your name here. Thank you so much for that super chat. Have a sip for me and pour, uh, pour some out for Minitini 1. Cheers. Minitini 1 is probably, hopefully, safely in storage in rainy Miami. Which, by the way, I'm, um, I might put it up uh, for sale when I get back to Miami. We'll see. So if anybody interested, you know, start, start, start bidding. And, okay, let me start reading some of the comments here. Um, went to RV dealer yesterday. What have you done to us, uh, Don Don Barrett Walsh? Uh, you know, it's it's the, to my, my opinion is the best way to travel. And Angel Barabara, good night from Spain. You are great, Robert. And wait for me next year because as soon as COVID goes and I'm able to to travel internationally, now maybe not next year, but hopefully next year or the year after, we're renting an RV in Madrid and we're gonna do like half of half half of Europe. If not, we'll see how long we have. Um, uh, um, hi from Laughlin, Nevada. Only 106 degrees today, tonight. Well, it's been in the high 90s here in the in, in North Dakota and in Minnesota too. It was pretty 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 darn hot. Um, but here, North Dakota has been like unbearable. Especially for the past three, three or four days, three or four days. Uh, uh, the analysis, all done filming, editing, and posting must be overwhelming. And the analysis, especially when you are at a place like this, and I want to, and, and, and still I had to drop certain things of the, but this place is uh, of unimaginable beauty. I mean, it's it's uh, it's hard to explain. You know, it's it's a national park, and they usually are. But uh, this one is kind of off the radar, you know. The Theo, uh, you know, you, you don't hear about Theodore Roosevelt National Park all the time, and uh, this place is actually pretty cool. It's uh, it has it's the Badlands, but it's not like the same Badlands in South Dakota. It almost feels Grand Canyon-ish, but different color. You know, it's it's not the 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 the, the, the orange and red sandstone anymore. It's more like a gray. Uh, earth color I don't know but beautiful beautiful formation stink thank you so much for that super chat hello and paper city gamer Jeff thank you for that super chat hey Robert missed the last a couple of weeks oh welcome back and uh, you know I'm, I'm, I'm glad that I'm here in Medora with pretty good internet and I'm able to do this 
because in my original plan today tonight I was gonna be boondocking somewhere in Montana but uh, the when I called to make the reservation the lady said you know I do have the because because I assumed that the weekend was gonna be uh, fully booked and apparently it is not I mean maybe now it is I mean RVs keep coming in but they had a uh, Friday night available and I said you know what I have the uh, I have the and uh, uh, oh I'm freezing I'm freezing I'm freezing I'm freezing I froze I froze, I froze, and I'm uh, I'm fine now. All right. <laughs> um, by the way, thank you. Three hundred. I'm, I'm today. I'm using two, the two screens, and that's. Uh, um, yeah, it looks like I froze pretty bad there. In any case, uh, I'm here on the weekend. Uh, I I totally lost my train of thought. Bill Bill Spellman, thank you so much for that super chat. Thank you. Appreciate it. Cheers. Tommy de Quesada, thank you so much for that super chat. Robert, enjoy an IPA on the DQ family. DQ de Quesada, of course. Um, he, um, it's my good friend Phil's birthday. Can you sing happy birthday to him? Hey, Phil. Happy birthday, dear Phil. Happy birthday to you. All right. And... Uh, uh, Dan the Vintage RVer, 323 watching, so many likes just waiting out there. Uh, yeah, only 53 likes. Am I really freezing that bad? I see myself frozen up here. Maybe if I turn this off. Hmm, this always happens, doesn't it? Uh, all right, and we have Nick Sutton. Hi Robert, just arrived on Mackinac Island a few hours ago. Thank you for that super chat. Lovely place, man. Mackinac Island is awesome. And uh, yeah, I guess I, I was freezing a little. I don't know what's going on. Let me do something real quick. Because this is what I did. This is what I did uh, last week and it worked great. I don't know if if that uh, WeBoost is entirely compatible with. Uh, let me let me turn off the WeBoost because we don't need it here. By the way, it's not a WeBoost; it's a King Boost. <laughs> but I'm thinking maybe if the signal is really good, the WeBoost is actually a, a impacts it negatively. Because here right now I'm, I'm, I'm using a Yahoo Mobile and we have a, a... Hold on, let me get rid of my notifications here. We have a, for, for four good bars of, of LTE here. Well, now we have three. But it should be good. Maybe, maybe it, or, or maybe the, the, that King Boost is not entirely compatible with the Verizon signal. I don't know. More research is shall go into this. But... Um, that's Yahoo Mobile uses the Verizon signal and it's true on limited internet and I have up to five megabits per second that's the throttling that they do you know that which is awesome and right now I'm using 1.8 1.9 1.5 like what a great solution 40 bucks a month guys don't tell anybody oh humongous fifth wheel coming in now um, Mike Nelligan thank you so much for that super chat uh, cheers, Robert. I uh, have to be up at 2 a.m. to deliver the Tim Hortons up here in Southwest Ontario. LOL. Quick beer for me and I'm out. Uh, cheers, man. Uh, uh, that uh, Timmy's Coffee. <laughs> yeah, that thing is it's not a toy hauler, but it's... Check it out. It's pretty massive. I don't, I don't, I don't know where they're going to put that. No, it's, it's not that massive. No, that's not the end of it yet. I don't know. I would. I. I don't know if I would like to drive something that big. Although I saw someone on the Loop Road in the inside the national park towing one of those uh, like huge fifth wheels, and they found parking. Uh, <laughs> uh, buffering, buffering on my live stream. I'm sorry about the buffering. I think we're good now. Um, traveling me, uh, uh, CLT. Traveling me. 
know if you need any help sending out CDs from Miami. Also trying to convince Andrea to buy Minitini. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, man, I don't know. It's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to be a pain to remove all those stickers from the back. I don't know. Uh, uh, <laughs> Hey, Andy Barley, thank you for that super chat. Hey, Robert, finally got my RV going to Belle Isle State Park in Virginia. Congratulations. Now they made the fun begin. And I think I'm still buffering a little bit there, um, but it's in, in the internet on the on the road. It's always like that, I guess. Long Island Bro Guru, thank you so much for that super sticker. Yeah, I'm very cool too. Hi. <laughs> I don't know what's going on whenever. I start doing the super chat. Um, are your hoodies for adults? I love the channel. I have some hoodies for adults in the in the Teespring store. Yes, uh, tap channel. I went to Dinosaur National Monument in Utah by Colorado border. It was uh, G Canyon ish, beautiful too. We'll post a video from there soon. Uh, you know, I'm gonna be in the area. By the way, the the, the return trip is pretty much uh, now set, almost uh, written in stone. Not quite, but. Because Ely, Ely is going to be flying to Salt Lake City to meet me in a couple of weeks. And uh, uh, the, is it crowded there? This RV park is, is full to the, I think it's completely full. But the, the National Park, it's so large that it doesn't feel crowded. Uh, uh, Steve Halterman, uh, thank you so much for that super chat. I'm having a Des Moines IPA and watching Cheers. Today I'm having one from Minnesota. But I still have some Des Moines IPA there, just in case I run out. A Furious IPA from Minneapolis. And uh, cheers. Um, Melnetta Living Free Zip Codeless. Thank you so much for that super chat. That's a cool name. A little long, but uh, keep it up. All right. It's a, it's a, it's a cool name. Zip, zip, zip Codeless. I like that. Uh, Andy K. Okay. Uh, Rob Hayes. Uh, I'm, I'm just happy watching a guy watching some some RVs drive. <laughs> um, uh, RV DJ, where would you be? CLT RV DJ. Uh, um, okay. Um, Young David, Theodore Roosevelt National Park. Did you drive up to check the northern unit? There are some great viewpoints up there. Yes, I did. Although, to be honest, I liked the, the south unit better. And uh, I, you know what I really liked, really believe it or not, and uh, of course that that's why the truck is filthy, dirty, and everything inside the bed of the truck, it's full of mud and dust. Actually, I just I just spent like half an hour cleaning my grill because I'm gonna make some some burgers uh, after the after the live stream here, and it was uh, it looks black again, but it was brown, completely brown. Uh, and if you guys have any ideas, if you if you have pickup trucks, how do you prevent uh, uh, everything back there from getting uh, dirty when you go through a dirt road? I would love to know. By the way, but that, 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 my my point, uh, what I really liked was the the grasslands, the the, the little Missouri River uh, National Grasslands. Uh, it's it's a lovely area, and uh, don't I, I flew the drone. I'm pretty sure it's okay to fly the drone there. I didn't see any flight restrictions. And even though the the, the uh, air map app didn't work at the time, I just I checked now and doesn't seem to be any flight restrictions. Uh, a beautiful area. It's all farmland and they have like oil wells. It's private land for the most part, but beautiful and a huge area. It, like it's pretty much everything in between the north and the south. And I also liked. I went to the to the to the horn, the Big Horn Ranch. No, it's not the Big Horn Ranch. You know, the, uh, T Teddy Roosevelt's second uh, ranch there, and it's a beautiful area too. Uh, hey, Robert uh, from the JC Verse TV, so thank you for that super chat. Hey, Robert, be safe out there. I think we went to the same high school, same time, Miami High, class of 89. I actually graduated in 90, but yeah, we probably bumped into each other at, the, at, the, at one of the hallways or, or with uh, Mr. Tornello or something like that. Uh, the Darren will fix. Thank you so much for that super chat. Hello, Robert. Good to see you again. Safe travels. Thank you so much. And uh, oh, super chats. Uh, oh my gosh, John Durham. Thank you so much for that super chat. And my neighbors are here, and they're kind of parking in my on my side, but I'm really not using my patio all that much. So I'm not gonna say anything. 
they don't have any room on the other side with that humongous thing. Um, thanks for the video on Three Islands uh, Square State Park in, in Glens Ferry, Idaho. Yeah, that, that was cool. Uh, I, uh, it's started us on our quest to visit all 27 Idaho State Parks. 11 more to go, waiting for you. I'm gonna be in Idaho probably in about uh, two weeks, maybe even less. I wanna explore a little bit of the northern uh, section of Idaho. And uh, I've been following this guy, his, his YouTube channel is SUVRV. He's a young guy um, and with his uh, wife, you know, that they've been, uh, yeah, he just camps in, in, in his SUV. And uh, he's, I, I believe he's from the Salt Lake City area, but he's, he, he does a lot of uh, camping up there. So I've been scouting some of the locations where he's been, and maybe I can boondock uh, with Minichini 2 in tow. Um, girl driver, thank you for that super chat. I rented a sticks and bricks in Key West, so thinking about selling my 1995 GMC coach house. Interested? Tempting, but 95? That's 25 years old, which feels weird, but uh, I don't know. But, but, but hey, well, we can talk about a Rob Hayes. Thank you so much for becoming a Chief Pelican Head. Welcome to the family. Now you can go into the community tab and watch uh, Sunday's video early. Uh, oh, the Lost RVers are here. Carl Ruth, Peg, and Wife. Thank you for that super chat. Uh, back from the coast, surrounded by smoke. Uh, yeah, I know. Um, there, there's uh, fires out in California, too. What's going on with all the fires? I, I wanted to take I-70 to, to, to from Grand Junction to Denver, and I think I-70 is still closed. So, RV44, hey, how's it going? Thank you for that super chat. How you guys doing? How, how's the RV holding up for you guys? Um, actually, I, 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 probably mo many of you guys saw it live on Facebook, but uh, I, took, I took this one on a dirt road a couple of days ago, and uh, it survived. But there, you know, the certain things, certain things have become loose. Let's put it that way. Uh, okay, let me try to read some of the comments here. Oh my gosh, this is uh, like uh, impossible. Sorry about, sorry, sorry if I miss your comments, but it's like it's going like boom, 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 like that sometimes. Uh, question: Are you going to the Tampa RV Super Show in 2021? From Dylan Reynolds. Oh, I froze. I froze, and I unfroze. Okay, let me say it again. Dylan Reynolds, are you going to the Tampa RV Super Show? Uh, most likely, I have to call. If, if uh, I have to email the guy from the RV show uh, to let him know because he wanted to organize something. You know, if if we want to do a meetup or something. But uh, we'll see. We'll see if by January, uh, the, you know, if there if there is going to be a Super Show, I'm gonna do my best to be there the whole week. But we'll see. Oh, brother, uh, Ria Landholm, can't wait. This week I'm heading up to North Shore, Lake Superior. You know, I was thinking about it, but uh, I'm going to save that for for maybe next year, another time. Uh, RV or camper van? You know, my, my only deal, I, I, would, I love the concept of a camper van, but I, I, I like to have a... Uh, good holding tanks and the K. Yeah, I know I'm freezing again. Uh, apparently, I'm freezing on and off. I don't know what's going on. Uh, thank you, by the way, the 493 of you here. Uh, you know, streaming from the road it, it can be uh, challenging. And even though, you know, I'm, I, if I do a speed test right now, I'm getting a solid 11, 10, 11 up. And uh, when I start streaming, sometimes it just like there's a hiccup. Uh, I, I think it's the, probably the nature of of mobile internet I don't know maybe I'll try that nomad uh, internet that uh, everybody's talking about um, George from Miami hello there and uh, Thomas Bueno living in in, uh, in Napa fires destroyed Lake Baresa just uh, east of us and more in St. Helena uh, can't wait to hit the road. Hopefully, get uh, our new travel trailer soon. Moving up from pop up. All right, and yeah, and, and I hope that these fires, you know, it's uh, but California gets those every every other year, so it feels. So I don't know. 
have uh, plans moved forward for Robert Fest uh, 2021? I don't know. And you know, I'm, I'm an awful uh, party organizer, so if you guys could come up with the with the, with the place and the time, and I'll be there. Um, we have Bora Drone, a nice one. Which one? Which one you get? Um, when, when the hill, Utah, there is a beautiful camping in Logan Canyon along the river north of Salt Lake City. Oh, really? Okay, let me, let me write that down because uh, I want to go to Salt Lake City. And I want to go to uh, the, the, the Salt Flats. Hold on. Let me do this real quick. Logan Canyon in Utah. I'm going to look that up. By the way, now I can do this. I can show you and see at the same time. And let me show you the trip as it stands right now. This is uh, kind of the... The final version of the trip and I did uh, I did this I had to erase of the I wanted to go to Williston I'm not gonna have time to go to Williston in fact let me delete it right now because I had him on standby there but yeah Williston North Dakota is not gonna happen I, I really wanted to go and Lewis and Clark State Park is not gonna happen not on this trip and then tomorrow I'm going to make an all-day drive to Helena, or at least to the vicinity. Maybe I'll stay at Great Falls, I don't know. And then we're going north to uh, Glacier. And then I haven't actually added a northern uh, Idaho, but I'm uh, you know, somewhere around here. Or you can't see my mouse. But somewhere around this area, I'm going to explore a couple of things. And then down to uh, Salt Lake City. Uh, I want to see the the Bonneville Salt, salt Flats, and uh, this is that uh, highway to, highway to Heaven uh, exit. And then, uh, what's the plan for this weekend, Hakim uh, or uh, June? Uh, the plan for this weekend is to drive to Montana. So Saturday night, somewhere in the vicinity of Helena, uh, Friday night, or maybe Friday night also, I, I, I want to spend the whole day in Helena just to, to, to explore it because it's the, the state capital. And, uh, and then I believe Monday I'm going to be at the, uh, in Glacier National Park. And then after Salt Lake City, I want to visit uh, Canyonlands. It's the, the, it's the, 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 one of the main state parks in Utah that I haven't seen yet. And then, uh, yeah, this is not quite updated, but yeah, it's, I'm going to go to, Col I want to uh, Colorado Springs and then go straight east in Kansas, in Kansas City. And then I'm going to Winnebago Towables in Middlebury, Indiana. That's the plan anyways. All right, let me read some of your comments here. Did I miss any super chats? No, I don't think I did, right? Okay. Uh, this is like RB Homeschool. Uh, get cherries from Great Falls. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll look into that. Canadian border is still closed. Yeah, that's why I didn't go to the International uh, Peace Garden just because of that, because I didn't know. I called, and uh, and the, 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 the office is only open Monday through Friday. This was, I believe, Saturday, last last Saturday, and uh, when I was in the area. And I'm freezing again, am I not? I went to Minot, Minot. Uh, here in the in North Dakota too, a very nice town, Minot. Um, I love Montana, Andy K. Thank you, Andy K. I and you know that last trip I kind of cheated on Montana. This time around, I I intend to spend a little more time in the in the Big Sky State. Every weekend we are trying to organize a meetup next fall in North Florida. Message me with some possible dates for next fall. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Next fall, fall, next fall, next fall. I'm trying to think. Uh, how late in fall? Because at some point this fall uh, is not going to happen. But next fall, I would love to visit the, the Northeast again. 
and see the, the turning of the leaves and all that. But it depends. If it is like late uh, fall, uh, I'll be back in Florida. Ramona Bailey, thank you so much for that super sticker, number one fan. So, uh, yeah, let's get in touch. Um, RB Weekends. And we'll make it happen. The eastern entrance to Glacier is closed due to COVID. Yeah, it's because that's the Native American uh, reservation, so they closed it. But the, going to the Sun Road is, is open all the way to St. Mary's. Is it St. Mary's, what it's called? And I already have kind of a plan. I'm only going to be like one full day in the park because I couldn't, I couldn't get a reservation anywhere. I might, I might uh, boondock my, my third night somewhere around and, and try to visit some of the other stuff in the park. They're my neighbors, I'm just, I'm just being nosy. <laughs> Uh, ben, uh, Traveling Road, looks like you're coming right uh, through the Lincoln home of Springfield, Illinois. Uh, you'll have to keep an eye out. For, we'll have to keep an eye out for you. I, you know, I haven't really done any research about my trip east from uh, uh, say, from Kansas City, but uh, I'm sure we'll hit uh, some some of the points of interest. Although I don't, you know, I'm gonna make it fairly quick. I'm gonna probably spend a couple of days in, in Middlebury, Indiana getting to work on some stuff here in Minitini too and uh, and since there's no RV show what I'm going to do I'm gonna do like a walkthrough like what I usually do at the RV shows but I'm gonna do a, a, you know show some of the new uh, RVs some of the new trailers that Winnebago is uh, is releasing this year some I hope some Milky Way time-lapse videos uh, in, the, in the are in the works as, as I get further west I'm sure uh, uh, Mary Callan was in Canyonlands about two weeks uh, about I did a little bit too much hiking in the heat and almost fell on my face but cut myself uh, with my trekking poles uh, and decay I like fall the best colors of the trees changing and Cheryl Jungensen thank you so much for that super sticker thank you so much and Brandon uh, did you do your own brake and wheel bearing maintenance on Minitini 1 or do you have it serviced? I've never done brake service on it. I did do the bearings once. I did it with the help of uh, Mr. CLT in the house. And uh, I, I did it a second time myself. But I'm, I'm pretty sure the brakes need service at this point in Minitini 1. Bill Utah, thank you so much for that super chat, super chat, yes, a super chat, not a super sticker. Uh, hopefully we'll get to see Robert here in Utah. Are you near the, if you're near the Salt Lake City area, let me know because we're going to be there. And uh, have you tried any of the Buffalo burgers and, and steaks yet? I did try a Buffalo burger last year in Yellowstone in, in uh in Jackson Hole. Hey, Bob Leach, Na Natchez Trace Parkway, Nashville to Natchez. Have you driven in it? I've done like 10 or 20 miles. Just I, di I did the, the, the corner that hits uh, Alabama, in the northwestern corner of Alabama. I did that about, ooh, I, I want to say uh, almost two years ago. Yeah, that, that was the Colorado's maiden voyage. And I think I froze again. Uh, that was the Colorado's maiden voyage where I went to North to Alabama and Georgia, and I. It was awfully cold uh, up in a, in Muscle Shoals, Alabama. And when I was in Muscle Shoals, uh, the more RVs keep on coming in and coming in. I don't know. How, it's like one after the other. It's crazy. This campground is going to be packed for the weekend. All right. How do you usually level your travel trailer? Um, from James Rat Ratliff. Uh, well, as soon as I park, I make sure that it's level side to side because that's the one that you have to do uh, while still attached to the truck. And then I have this. It's like uh, they look like Legos, you know. And you you stack them and depending on how much you wanna. And uh, it's never exact, but it, it does help. It makes it close enough. And then once you unhitch, it, or, you know, front and back, you just with the with the tongue jack, jack, you you go up and down. It's uh, it's relatively easy. It's never perfect. Now they have new trailers with like the 
the, 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 the automatic leveling system. I've seen them. It's like, <clears throat> that would be really cool. Do you think you'll ever pass through West Virginia? The, uh, the, uh, the original plan for this trip I was probably going to, but uh, I've only done, uh, I think it's the, the lowest point in West Virginia, which is Harper's Ferry. But at some point, at some point, I have it all planned out. It's at least a week in West Virginia. Bobby, Bobby Hornback, thank you so much for that super chat. Have a nice IPA on me. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And Alan Shitwood, thank you for the super chat. Are you hitting Missoula, Montana? Mom was born there. I don't know if I'm hitting Missoula. You know, I'm, I'm, I, I'm really not going to stop anywhere, I don't think, except Helena on my way west. Where were, where, where were Missoula? Let me see. Let me look at the map here. Missoula, Montana. Tony Montana. Uh, Well, uh, where's the, where's Helena? Let me see, because now I lost Helena. I know it's somewhere around here, but okay. Uh, well, yeah, absolutely. I'm probably gonna be driving through Missoula, and then I'm gonna head north towards uh, Glacier. Yeah. And then it doesn't show in my map, but I'm I'm gonna hit uh, head west. After that, the, uh, probably gonna go to Cor Cordelin. Uh, some somebody uh, uh, has said that Cordelin is a very nice place. So yeah, Missoula, Montana. I'm probably just gonna do a drive through. But so so yeah, I'm going there. And uh, Cuba, Maderos. So are you going to the January Tampa Barbie show? I'm, I'm really hoping I will. How long are you going to stay in Salt Lake City for probably one or two nights? Two nights. I, I want to say two nights. Uh, uh, I just froze. I just froze. No, 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 no. Don't freeze. No, no, no. Don't freeze. Don't freeze. Don't freeze. Why did you freeze? I froze. I'm sorry, guys. I froze, but I think I, 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 I just uh, thought. Um... We were, where were we? Oh, how long am I staying in, in, uh, in Salt Lake City for? Probably two nights. Ely is flying to, into Salt Lake City. That's that's the, the, the whole point. And then we're gonna do a, a part of the trip together on the way back. And uh, yeah. Uh, James says, uh, Stockton, we bought our first travel trailer. And our, um, our first travel and our first trip is Savannah, Georgia. You motivated us to, motivated us to buy one. Oh, congratulations, on Savannah. I want to go to Tybee Island at some point. Starry-eyed Earthman. Well, uh, whatever Robert is, it's getting packed. Yeah, I think everybody is... Uh, look, look at that. It's, it's like gigantic fifth wheel after fifth wheel uh, coming in here. That's my neighbor parked right next to my table. Um... But it's it's like that, and there's one behind them. It's like I don't know. Is my site back here occupied? No, you you know that that that's gonna get. Uh, someone is gonna park back there uh, soon. And this is gonna be like like those uh, uh, campgrounds in the Keys. Michelle X, thank you for that super chat. Keep up the family friendly travels. Uh, thank you. Yes. Uh, aside from drinking beer, I think it's going to be f family friendly for the foreseeable future. Bob Leach, thank you so much for that super sticker, number one fan, yay! Cheers. Well, I'm going to get drunk today. Oops. Your rear floor floor liners are safely tucked away. Thank you, uh, uh, Sonia. And uh, hold on. Uh, here we have uh, Rodney Schultz. Thank you so much for that super chat. Uh, have you ever, hold on. Have you ever been to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway? If not, please come and experience the greatest spectacle in racing. As soon as COVID is over, we, we, that, that's something we should do for sure. I've never been, but I used to go to like the drag racing uh, in Moroso in, uh, in Palm Beach, but I've never been to a NASCAR uh, or 
you know, like the Indy 500 or anything like that. Uh, uh, Dylan Reynolds question at your next minute in lounge are you gonna planning to sing any chain smokers song I'm gonna try man I'm gonna try if, if, if I have to carry I, I will but uh, that's gonna be at least a, 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 at least a month from now yeah I, I my intention is to arrive in Miami in about a month maybe a little more maybe a little later it all depends how long I stay in Middlebury Indiana uh, with the folks from Winnebago <clears throat> so so Bill Bill Utah I forgot uh, I, I'm pretty sure you told me you're in Salt Lake City area but I don't know if I uh, you know my you know my memory of all the things I've lost it is my mind I miss the most uh, yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I'm freezing. Uh, you know, there's nothing I can do about the bandwidth right now. It seems to be holding up at 1.6 megabits per second, but um, I don't know why. Sometimes it just goes like, and it goes 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 back. And that kind of thing. And it goes back. You know how it is. It goes back again. Technology. Technology is hard, man. I'm telling you. But then I go. I, and it's funny when I freeze him doing one of those faces, right? Like, in any case, uh, <laughs> start your Idaho trip after Glacier uh, by going to Priest Lake. Uh, IR1003198. Thank you so much for that super chat. Thank you. Really appreciate it. And as long as we don't freeze, we're going to do you. Um, um, Oh man. Hold on. Every weekends we light it when you get drunk. We like it when you get drunk, I guess you mean. Do you ever plan to visit the UK again? If so, which parts? Highly recommend visiting Wales. I want to visit Wales. I want to visit, of course, uh, Scotland. Uh, just because I'm a fan of scotch and uh, and the culture and every, all, all that the, and the, I, I hear it's beautiful I want to go back to to the, the uh, oh my god I'm drawing a blank right now the Roman baths bath hello bath <laughs> oh brother my mind my mind is <laughs> Um, let me <laughs> read some of the chat here. Cordelin, if you have any chance, check out Cisco's Gallery, an amazing collection of Western art and antiques. It's like a museum. And I definitely want to visit that uh, place. Do you have a tentative date for Utah? Uh, let me... Let, I mean, it's, it's tentative. I, I want to say... late August no in fact uh, early September let's call it early September as I am uh, as I am looking at my calendar here RV weekends party uh, CLT we may pass each other on the road you on your way back Robert and me headed to Colorado oh really Oh, wouldn't that be cool to, to like uh, bump into each other we can we can make like a it'd be like a party hey William Rizarri buenas and uh, oh man Goombas thank you so much for that super chat happy Friday Robert cheers Pelican heads I agree let's get drunk and let's get loud let's get loud let's get loud more IPAs make it all better uh, oh man and uh, okay happy Friday happy Friday Neon Pony uh, hey it's 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 sleep RV repeat hello I, I didn't see your message but I see that the ad reply to you and uh, Juan Eizaga uh, thank you so much for that super sticker thank you appreciate it and cheers Traveling Nate Dog, Robert, I love your RV. Thank you. 
Typical deprioritized Verizon. I live with that all the time. Oh, oh, I, I froze. Yeah, I froze again. I didn't realize I had frozen, but... I'm gonna make an, I'm gonna do an experiment here. The next time I freeze, I'm gonna switch to AT&T and see what happens. Uh, JJ, uh, uh, thank you for that super chat. I don't have much, but your videos are awesome. Have a beer and um, thank you so much, JJ. And uh, can uh, AR Music Bose, I am happy to be your subscriber. Thank you so much. Uh, Jessica Chavez Smith, will, uh, you're going to Oregon in late September. Bill Utah, typical deprioritized Verizon. I live with that all the time. Yeah, uh, yeah, the, uh, Yahoo Mobile uses Verizon, and I guess they deprioritized me at some point. I mean, the, I mean, it's staggering the amount of RVs coming in. It, the, that that line of RVs must must be all going all the way to to uh, out there to Medora. But there are three RVs uh, in line now. <laughs> Uh, but it's been good for the most part, right? I freeze from time to time and I don't realize it, uh, but... Uh, if we freeze really bad, I'm gonna switch to AT&T, see what happens. Scream shots. What scream shot? Dylan Reynolds, what? Uh, did, 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 do you know that the RV or TV will be in Salt Lake City in about a week? It would be cool to meet, meet him. I, I, I enjoy his channel. He's, uh, he's very real time, and I, I kind of like that uh, approach. Uh, the RV DJ, I'm going to do my first live stream Monday night, 8 p.m. East, uh, Eastern. I'm going to need to get drunk to loosen up. LOL. Ah, you'll do fine. You'll do fine. Monday night at 8 p.m. And, uh, well, Monday night, I'm, I'm going to be in, uh, at the, in Glacier, I think. Cindy S, thank you so much for that super chat. Hi Robert, happy happy Friday, happy Friday to you. Oh man, this is the good stuff. The CLT back, the free stuff. Yeah, I know. I, I, uh, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, all 568 of you watching right now, 181 likes. Uh, Thank you for being, you know, I, I, today for the first time since I am in the RV, I'm using the two screens and uh, it's really cool because I, I, I can I can see what's going on uh, real time. Average watch time, six minutes and 49 seconds. And we've been doing this for how long? Where does it say it? 48 minutes. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, keep it until 5 p.m. my time uh, at least. And then, you know, tonight I have to do laundry. I mean, I'm in mountain time, so it is, it is uh, 4.30, 4.36 here right now. I have to do laundry. I'm gonna grill me some, uh, some pork chops, uh, courtesy of Steve Halterman, if you're still watching. I'm gonna grill those today. All three of them. I'm gonna eat one and, and, and freeze the other two. Which is what I've been doing, you know. I, it, it's it's only me. It's so I've been. Uh, uh, whenever I cook, it's too much food. It lasts me like for three or four meals. Uh, okay, where were we? Let me read some of the back comments here. Yeah, Google thinks I'm thinks I'm talking to it. I like your shirt, Robert from Nash. And, oh, Jackie Trujillo, hello there. He looked like a robot when he gets frozen. Uh, I look like a robot, like Mr. Data. Yeah, this is cool. I got this uh, uh, actually about a week ago because I made, I, I, when I was staying in Fargo, I made a day trip to the to the National Buffalo Museum and they have that ginormous, uh, it's like a concrete uh, bison. It's really, it's really a bison. Uh, locals call them buffalo, but buffalo is, is well, let's not get pedantic. 
It's a buffalo, it's a bison, it's the American bison. And now, so there's a mundo. No, no, where are you from then? So now, so there's a mundo. Uh, in any case, thank you so much for that super chat. Thank you, appreciate it. Uh, from uh, Brazil. But, but so, uh, R, that would be Brazilian reais, right? I don't know, Dylan asked uh, something earlier, but I totally forgot what it was. Um, 48 minutes, I need to start catching up. Uh, jerky frozen. I'm sorry, I, you know, I, I'm like a beef jerky, you know, sometimes I jerk and, and, and then I get unjerked. Uh, that kind of thing. Uh, let's see, I just froze with my hand up here. Yeah, I, I'm not used to having the two screens, so I could, I could actually body monitor myself live. Uh, um, frozen, Domo Arigato, Mr. Roboto, Frozen. Frozen! <laughs> uh, not roast today, yay! Yeah, Dylan, uh, I, I think that, 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 that that's a good thing, right? 572. Uh, Hakim Olajuwon, Olajuwon, do you ever miss home when you're on the road for a long time? I, I don't miss home per se, but I miss uh, the family. You know, I miss Ilya, I miss my mom. Um, hello, hello, hello. Oh boy. No, this is no good. This is no good. Okay, everybody, I, I made the experiment. I switched to AT and T briefly, and uh, no, uh, 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 Verizon is still has the, the best signal, and uh, you know it's uh, it's one of those things. All right, I'm sorry. I, I hope I'm, if I'm not frozen, at least I am. Uh, uh, Vanessa Hinckley, love your travels. Robert, you do a great job. My mom and I are watching. It's her birthday. Can you sing happy birthday? Happy. What's your mom's name? Well, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Vanessa's mom. Happy birthday to you. All right. Um. Uh, and hopefully we'll be back and we, we won't freeze again. I, you know, I tried AT&T and it was like really, really bad. So, um, uh, Andy K, I could put up with the froze every now and then. Yeah. I mean, we've had worse. Uh, when was that time? That one time at band camp? Uh, <laughs> I think it was in uh, somewhere in Florida. Uh, one of the state parks where it was like really really bad and today we started okay i mean uh, I, it, it must be something with the with the video protocol that it gets deprioritized at, at some point and <clears throat> the lost our viewers showmanship just uh, work through it it's fine all right uh, connection is perfectly acceptable frozen less than 30 seconds in 15 minutes I guess that's not so bad right but I would I wish that and I'm gonna start trying something different next time perhaps I think it's maybe it's the OBS the, the software that I'm using to stream which I've been using for a while for a long time but I really like having the chat here on the side like for, especially for the people who are watching on TV and stuff like that. But maybe if I use like uh, an, another uh, software that that degraded more gracefully, you know, maybe it'll pixelate, but it won't freeze completely. That that might work better. I don't know. I'm just thinking. If it freezes anymore, Disney will make a movie out of it. <laughs> Who said that? Oh my god, that was uh, 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 for uh, Rob Hayes. 
Uh, Hazel from Miramar, hello, Hazel from Miramar. Nora, Nora and Kimberly say hello, hello. Uh, well, you said it is hot there, so now you're frozen. Hello, well, yeah, I guess that I hear that I have the air conditioner uh, going all the way. But out there, I mean, it's been in the high 90s. Let me see what my app says right now, my Android app. Yeah, AT&T, well, it says 80, 89 now, which is down from like the 96, 97 we were experiencing earlier yesterday. Yesterday was like, and uh, and of course, I, uh, uh, I froze. Oops, I'm frozen again. <laughs> All right, it looks like I'm on frozen. Oops, I'm frozen again, and I'm. Uh, it's getting worse. It's getting worse. Uh, Tim Motherway, thank you so much for that. Hold on, let me let me wait until this thing is actually working. Tim Motherway, thank you so much for that super chat. Thank you. And uh, Robert, I'm a big fan. Where are you at? I might run into you next week in Western Montana. Uh, maybe I right now I'm in. Oh, this is this is becoming impossible. Yeah, I may have to cut this short if it keeps freezing. I put it back there next to the the King Boost just in case. Now it, it starts working better. Uh, Tim Motherway, once again, thank you for that super chat. Robert, I'm a big fan. Where are you at? We I, I might run into you next week in Western Montana. Right now, I'm in Medora, North Dakota going into Montana tomorrow uh, and the f I'm gonna be there for early next week probably until Wednesday and uh, and then heading down to I heading probably a little west into into Idaho um, KR destinations thank you so much for that super chat love you bro we you've added so many spots to our bucket lists love your videos thank you so much and wait till you see this series this uh, summer 2020 it started kind of slow and I and I lingered in the southeast for like two weeks before I made it to the Midwest and eventually up here to the to the west but uh, I, I've seen some uh, some really cool stuff let me tell you uh, Dylan says do you know there will be a twin demic I heard about it you know that that's a new word right Endemic. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to talk about it. Uh, Nick and Therese Benish or Benish, Benish. Uh, thank you so much for that super chat. It's okay that you're freezing up, Robert. Just means you have to take another sip of IPA. Cheers. Oh, I'm, I'm all out of IPA. I have, I have more. I have more in the fridge, but then uh, you know, I have to do laundry. Uh, William Elisera, it looks like you're losing weight. I don't know. I, my my belly is still there, but uh, I don't know. I, I don't have a scale here with me. So as soon as I get back to Miami, I will weigh myself and give you I'll give you guys a full report. Uh, I probably have. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes I forget to eat. Uh, Anthony Bielski, how old are you? I'm thinking of buying an RV and go see the country. I'm 49 right now. Yahaira Marchetti. Hi, Robert. Greetings from Hillsboro River State Park. That's near Tampa, right? Hillsboro, Hills, Hillsboro River. Soon. Uh, Ili. Hey, Ili in the house. Everybody say hello to Ili from my brother, Roberto. Hello, Roberto. When, when, when the pandemic is over and uh, I go back to Miami, we gotta go to Casa Juancho uh, at least once. You know, and people keep coming in. Uh, 
Clayton fight, Robert pick up some anti-freeze, G5 versus <laughs> Alright, All right, where was I? Oh my gosh, my brother Roberto says me a super chat. You know what that means? My brother-in-law, Roberto. He's in the house, you know, he's having wine with Ili. Um, I'm going to have to open another beer, that's it. And uh, when Ili comes in two weeks, I have some some good stuff waiting for her here. Some good wines and good beers and uh, don't, oh, don't tell her. Oh, she's watching. Never mind. Uh, top channel, I definitely want to visit Norway, Lofoten Island. It looks gorgeous. That area uh, looks better than Alaska. Uh, I really liked it and I want to go back. And at some point when, when Ili and I can travel more long term, I would definitely love to spend some time up there with no rush. You know, they have this campground there. We have to figure, we have to figure out how to pay for it because at the time it was convoluted and don't tell them, but we couldn't find a way to pay. If we, if we could have paid, we would have paid. Um, but stay there one, two, three, four nights until we can see the darn midnight sun and then we can go and then uh, uh, we'll be complete uh, another beer, beer means another 45 minutes at least you guys think okay well let's do it until until uh, 5.30 my time and, and then I have to go do laundry and hopefully I can figure out the quarters in the machine you know because you guys want to get me to, I'm going to get one of the small ones not a pint and let me see what I have here all right I'm gonna have one of these uh, I'm gonna have an Iowa beer not the Des Moines one this is the one of the surf zombies um, courtesy of Anan from Iowa City because the, the Des Moines IPA is too big it's one pint this one at least it will be uh, less volume and I'm sure I can figure out the laundry machine mm, I got a beer mustache oh this is good too now that I uh, that I compare them this one is a little more like Malty from the Iowa Brewing Company, independent. You know, I got this the day of the derecho, the day of the the big storm that that decimated a, a, a lot of the the, the corn uh, crops. Robert, what is the name of that RV park that just closed down in the Keys? That was fairly new. I just closed down. I, 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 there, there was point of view that closed down a, probably two or, three, two or three years ago. There was Knight's Key that sh sh closed down around the same time. And there, then there was this other one, which was very close to the, 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 club, the Caribbean Club. Oh, where was it? Let, me look, let me look it up in the map here. Some map kind of person. I don't know if they closed down. I, I mean, they were fairly. Uh, where is it? The Keys Palms RV Resort. Did they? Did they? I, I don't know if they closed down or not. They seem to be open. So uh, maybe you, you refer to point of view, which I was there. Uh, it was one of one of my first times in the Keys with the RV. Uh, Hakim Ola Ola Juan, uh, what camera is the best for creating YouTube videos in nature and mountains? I prefer to spend maximum two hundred bucks. Oh man, two hundred bucks! If you have a nice phone. Uh, like a like a recent iPhone or a recent Samsung, it'll probably be much better than any two hundred dollar camera. It's just my my opinion. 
If, if, if all you have to spend is $200, uh, use your phone. Uh, it's going to be better. Uh, Alan Chidwood was in Glacier for my honeymoon back in 1990 as part of a 4,000 mile camping trip in a truck and camper. All right. Just what you need, a drink with the, the name zombie in it. Yeah, right? Surf some zombies. I don't know. I, I don't know what surf and zombies have to do with uh, with Iowa, but... Oh, but... <laughs> so... <sighs> it's gotta be all that... I mean, it's it was dusty. I, I, I've driven probably 50, 60 miles of dirt roads in the past couple of days. Yeah, no more, actually. Okay, let me, let me, let me, let me start reading some of the, the retro, a sign of the times. Uh, Robert, 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 always keep up. You've got to be at traveling Robert meetup with me. We got to do that meetup at some point uh, once COVID is over. Uh, Adam Buser, I don't know if you have time to see Park City, Utah, National History Museum, Utah, uh, Temple Square, City Creek. Said, I'm going to try to see as, as much as possible in, uh, I'm going to spend one whole day in Salt Lake City and we'll see as much as possible. And I just froze again. Darn it. I just froze again. Robert, what do you think about Cocoa Beach? Lovely town. I really like it. Uh, it's very cool but while still retaining a little bit of that uh, old Florida vibe and you can uh, and, and you get to see the all the rocket lounges which is a big plus your favorite state Robert ah, I don't know I, I, uh, 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 until recently it's been Arizona but let me tell you it's it's uh, it's impossible to to it's impossible to to do the, like one state. Let, let me let me go through some of your messages here. The, the earlier ones. Uh, question: Is this the new normal? I hope not, Dylan. Uh, empath embracing life. I use my Samsung phone and it works just fine. But you know what, what I've been using lately is that new iPhone that I got uh, before this trip. Right before this trip, and uh, when I look when I look inconspicuous or when you know and you guys. The members and the patrons have seen it in the in the Pelican head updates. That, that phone looks uh, amazing. Even even the selfie camera is it's really really good. This is going to get good with an extra IPA. LOL. <laughs> Thank you. Hello from Georgia, Henry and Charlotte. Met you at Track Rock. Hey, cheers. This is good stuff. I'm gonna get. Uh, tipsy soon uh, thank you all for those blessings uh, allergies pick up some flow nays and allergy meds it, it could be um, um, it's probably the air conditioner maybe if I turn off the AC for a few minutes ah. yeah that way I don't have to I don't have to talk so loud maybe I've been talking too loud and that's because I I have trouble hearing myself with, with, with this AC, you know. The day they invent a, a quiet AC for RVs, it's going to be a good day. Um, uh, Kioni Paras, can you please say hi to Sadia? She loves your channel and is watching right now. Hi, Sadia. And... Uh, uh, J five seven tonight. We, uh, you've got to let that sneeze out, man, or you're going to blow your ear earballs out. And we cannot let that happen, you know, because I need my ears to to make some music. I have. I'm, I'm gonna make some music th these days. I'm gonna actually. Uh, I just had this great idea. I'm gonna modify the one that I wrote for Grand Hotel, since the main melody is really not mine. Is uh, Rashmaninoff. Uh, I'm gonna do a different uh, melody on top of that same arrangement because I really like that arrangement. I wanna, and I'm, I wanna use that for some of the highway shots. 
Uh, Dylan Reynolds, what is happening to the live stream? I don't know what is happening to the live stream. Jim in DC, uh, did you know the Florida case is releasing 570 million genetically engineered mosquitoes? Oh, really? I didn't know that. As I said, best camera for under 200 bucks. I don't know, you can get one of those Canon Vixias or one of the cheap like 1080p camcorders. That would work. But uh, at that point, you're better off using using your phone, really. As I said, a famous surf surf ballroom. All right, um, all right. I think I reset the chat. Let's reset the chat. A uh, flonase. Yeah, maybe I should do that. I'm telling you, the IPA has sulfur and it gives you sniffles. You think? I'll keep drinking, maybe. What color is your Colorado? I don't know. Um, it sometimes it looks greenish, sometimes it looks bluish, sometimes it looks gray. It's like a chameleon. Uh, Ar Arcobo, hey Robert, love your videos. I feel like traveling with you. I like that you give your honest opinion of the places that you visit. What are your favorite IPAs? Cheers. Well, the, the one that you can get almost anywhere is that Dogfish Head, and I like it. And uh, this Surf Zombies is not bad at all. Actually, the, actually, I really liked. You know, I like to try the, the local stuff, which kind of pisses me off. Am I back? Am I back? No, I'm not back. All right, let's try this. Oh man, no, this isn't gonna work. Can you see me? Can you see me? Can you see me? Hello, hello, everybody. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about the 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 the, the technical difficulties here, uh, but I don't think this is gonna work. For some reason, I just got like boom gone I don't know what's going on hey Red Jaguar thank you for being here and uh, you just came at the time that the, the I mean we just got hold on let me let me see if we can salvage this All right, let's try this one last time, and uh, <laughs> I think I think we're back. It's really bad, but um, hello, Elon Musk. What happened to that Starlink system? We need Starlink. <laughs> oh man. Um, yeah, I'm back. Barely. Barely here. Alright, everybody. I'm just gonna. Uh, I'm just gonna. Let, let, me, let me try putting this back next to the, to the Wii Boost. But I don't think this is gonna work. Yeah, we're gonna call it a night, uh, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. I know I know you probably can can see me, but at least probably you can hear me. If anything, I'm riding, riding in my RV, wherever I want to be, cause I'm free in my RV. Yeah, I'm riding. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I think I'm back. So <laughs> maybe I should sing.
Elon! Elon, where's that? Where's that Starlink? And I think my neighbor deployed the, the satellite dish antenna. Maybe that's what it is. In any case, uh, maybe Winnebago. I don't think that nobody can help, you know, with the, with the, when the, when the internet uh, fails, it fails. <laughs> In any case, everybody, thank you so much for being uh, here tonight with me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go do my laundry. Actually, yes, thank you so much, uh, Jim Foster, and uh, uh, your name here. Thank you so much for that super chat. Woo! And <laughs> and uh, hey, Red Jaguar. Next time, come early, man. So so we can, you know, because because right now the the, the internet just uh, failed me, uh, big time. But um, so everybody, have a great weekend. Good night, uh, and I'll see you next Friday from a, from a campground, probably somewhere either in Montana or Idaho. Uh, so. I'll be riding, riding in my RV, wherever I want to be. Cause I'm free in my RV. Good night, everybody. Uh, and see you next week. Have a great weekend. And happy travels to you. Now you're loud and clear. Yeah, it figures.